Hello, hello everybody. What is going on? It is Intuitive MCA. Welcome back to another beautiful Tuesday. <laughs> Get us right, it's Tuesday now. In this video, we're only going to be doing Oracle. I haven't done a lot of Oracle readings. I've been really trying my best to upload videos as best as possible and fast as possible. Do not forget, there will be no tarot. I, even if the box says, you know, tarot oracle, it's still oracle. It's really not actual tarot. Okay, so we're just, oh, we're just pulling in some, t um, some oracle messages. Once again, this is not based off zodiac sign or anything like that. We're talk about specific person and or like thing. Um, if this video resonates for you, do not forget to like this video, comment down below information about paid personal readings and private sessions with me and how you can find me on YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook will be down in the description. So let me go ahead and get started. I am going to go ahead and get started first with the angel messages. Okay, like I said, I know the box has tarot on it. Like I said, we're not pulling tarot. Oh, hold up. I almost forgot this. I'm getting low. <laughs> I need to use this shit sparingly. Thank you, angel ancestors. Let's see what the collective needs to know. This will be a collective read. So like I said, only take what resonates for you and you know, leave the rest or, and or don't just don't take it, you know, if it ain't for you. Let me see here, spirit guides, angel and ancestors. But I hope this view is good for y'all because it looked like it's a pretty good view. And y'all this shit want to keep rolling off. Like, it never always want to stay on it. It's going to fall off regardless. So I don't know. I'm going to put that one in there. Let's see here. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What does the collective need to see or know here? When it comes down to this oracle reading, starting off with the garden angel messages. I'm going to pull four of, from each deck and I'm going to go with that energy. And if I need to pull more, I'll just I'll pull more like that. These cards are slippery as hell. Let's see. First card out. Page of Water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Well, like I said, it's not based off Zodiac sign, but in this one, it does have Zodiac energy in it. Sensitive, open-hearted, and intuitive. A lot of y'all collective are being very sensitive, very open-minded when it comes down to your love life or who you allowing into your love life. It could be family, friends, lovers, exes, new people, you know, co-workers, all types, even your kids, your, you know, like this just being very intuitive having that intuition to know hey i need to draw back or i need to pull you know pour some more energy into that and or maybe i need to stop being so sensitive and realize that maybe i'm so sensitive and i'm letting them get away with things and just doing this because i do it too i'll be like this to people too and i and i know i'm too nice i'm far too fucking given okay but shit collect let's see okay we got the five of fire mm-hmm and the page of earth a lot of y'all are kind of stressed out because you like damn like i can't get this shit like i can't understand like i'm not like it's not making sense it's not being demure mindful like because <laughs> you like conflicts annoyance and competition yeah five of fire areas the old sag and then you and then you also got this page of earth which is page of pentacles studious prepared and cheerful um that's towards the capricorn anything with pentacles is towards the capricorn and then the wands, and then, you know, the wands is Aries, Leo, Sag, and the water energy, obviously, is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel like a lot of y'all also kind of upset at yourself because, like, you're just getting annoyed because, like I say, a lot of y'all are very sensitive, and you take things a certain way, collective, and you just realize, like, is it me that's sensitive, or is it them that just can't handle my words? Them that can't handle who I am. Because some people could feel like, you know, you're just doing too much, collective, or you just too much for them. They can't handle your sauce, your drip, your energy. So maybe this is about time for you to close up that chapter. But I do feel like with this page of earth, this this is a good thing. You know, like you know, a lot of y'all could be going to school, getting a check in the mail, and are having something happen for you. A lot of y'all gonna be really happy. But still, with that five of wands, y'all could be coming into conflict. You know, with love situations or in or in your personal life. Let's see here. You're like, goddamn, I always turn around and miss something. Look, six of water, memories, childhood, nostalgia. I feel like a lot of y'all are dealing with like childhood wounds and memories and trying to just realize like, you know, you are not your past. You are not your parents. You are not your ancestors, your elders. Like you're better than that. A lot of y'all are trying to reach for a 10 of pentacles as well. Okay. So that's that deck. We're going to get on to it with the next deck. I'm going to save the Archangel power last because I love me some Archangel power messages. 
I'm gonna put bring this deck down and see spirit guides and ancestors. What else is a collected and seen or know here? But like I said, like a lot of y'all are like like I said, having that childhood memories, the six of cups or six of water. Let's see here. I don't know whose dog is barking and why, but it needs to be quiet. Because every time I open up that window, it's someone coughing, barking, screaming, something. I love animals, but shit. <laughs> like, God gracious. Look, spiritual strength, that's the first card that came out. That's number nine. You got five. You got sixes out here. You got a page. You got two pages. Okay. So, a lot of y'all are on page energy. You got the hope card. That's 17. We got here for the collective spirit we got 18 with shadow i'm gonna put these cards like to match oh yeah that's giving shadow this is giving strength so that's green so i'm trying to match them up i know y'all can't see them i'm so sorry but i'm trying my best y'all and then y'all look conflict and defeat. I knew that other card. Yeah, you got the same card twice. So a lot of y'all with that conflict and defeat and that five energy, a lot of y'all going to be going through something with somebody. It's definitely with a person because you got two cups out here. So it's definitely dealing with an individual. A lot of y'all probably going back and forth with this person. And that's why the page of cups is out here and the six of cups out here. But a lot of y'all just trying to have fulfillment and wishes. Like y'all ain't like, listen, look, look, mental conflict. It is a lot of conflict. Whatever you do in collective is giving you backlash. It could be a person, a thing, past, present, future. It is giving you an annoyance. Like it is becoming a daily issue. And you're trying, it can even be like a weight loss. And maybe you're trying to lose weight and you feel like you can't do it. But don't say that. But have hope. With the hope card, have hope. It's just something that you're supposed to go through so you can heal. But you feel like the voices are always getting louder. Like in this car, like this person is trying to walk down these steps. But he's just barely making, like he can barely hold on. There's like all these voices in his head like, you like shit like when will it stop but have spiritual strength just know that you got this okay collective you are going to make it through okay through thick and thin at the end of the tunnel there's always light and have hope but your shadow side a lot of y'all are also operating on your shadow side and that's that six of water I'm talking about your childhood memories and how good or bad things was maybe a lot of arguing with your parents and trying to express them like hey listen you have not done everything right. I know, you know, a lot of y'all was young, humping and bumping, probably shouldn't have been, you know, making kids and acting like y'all was grown, doing fast shit, um, you know, just not being divine, not being masculine, not being feminine. And here are the consequences for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like a lot of y'all really just need to stop feeling so bad for yourself. Like, stop feeling like it's your fault because it really ain't your fault. It's not. It's they fault. <laughs> okay, if it was your fault, I would just say that, but it really ain't. It's they fault because they should have known better. And for a lot of people who like who's trying to keep you away from your kids, or you have a baby daddy, a baby mama situation, and they letting you see your kid and you find that shit in court, that's real fucked up. That's real grimy. <laughs> real tough, real tough. But let's go ahead and get into it with Archangel Power. And then we're gonna end it like that. Cause I'm not trying to make this video too long. I'm just trying to do like an energy check-in. Okay. Let's see here. But yeah. A lot of y'all need to get that spiritual strength. Like know, like know who you are, collect the stand on your business. Like set your boundaries. You don't have to always be the kiss ass. Like you don't gotta be that page of ones where you so sensitive to everything. Okay? Like be sensitive. But say fuck that shit and walk away. Like you don't gotta answer to nobody. The fuck? You ain't the post office and you definitely ain't the mailman. Okay? We is checking that lice, that, sorry, not, not lice, that list twist, sorry, I cannot talk. Checking that list twice, I said it should all fucked it. That's my own fault for talking so goddamn fast. But yeah, you crossing it all off, let me see here. Look, strength, per, look, spiritual strength and strength. All these cards are double backing, so everything I'm saying is valid here. So you can't say it's a lie, because if you do, that's outrageous. <laughs> It says Archangel Ariel, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. Like I mean, you say, forgive yourself, collective. Stop being so hard on yourself. Why are you blaming yourself when it wasn't even your boat? Listen, you stressing yourself out. I can see through the cause. Archangel Ariel is here to give you personal strength, and that's Leo energy. Okay? 
you see here. What else did I hear? Look, Anna Gabriel, a great deal of act, active, active, sorry, activity, setting an immediate results in poor communication. Okay, I'm gonna put that here with the five of wands energy because it literally goes right where it needs to be. Orange, orange. A lot of y'all can see seeing orange, green, and purple, maybe even yellow as well. But yeah, communication is definitely coming in from an important person. Could be someone that you need to help you with your court case or like a case worker, case manager, a friend, a lover, somebody that's really on your side. Seven of Ariel. A lot of Ariel energy coming out now. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for the next endeavor. Exactly. And I'm going to put that here with that seven, sorry, six of water. Like even though it's not cups, but it really does like kind of coordinate with that because seven six you know is this one but you got the ace or you got the page two pages so a lot of y'all are investing things and y'all need to be investing in yourself so i'm investing in people that aren't going to invest in you your harvest your crop your food your finances your love for yourself you need to invest in you invest in you and stop trying to invest in people who are going to take 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 because you're going to hate that shit let's see look for Raphael. Seek out other possibilities. Look out for magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Exactly. Be aware of your own emotions. Like Four of Cups talks about like, you know, also crying over spilled milk. But like being bored and being dragged in situations that you don't need to be in because you're bored and you just want to be in something and just want to do something. But look, a new beginning is definitely coming. I'm going to read this card and we're going to end this reading. Starting a new life. Finding your purpose of a forgiving and compromised Start a compassionate review of your past. A lot of y'all need to dig deep in your past and ask yourself, was, what, did I need to do that? Did I need to say, like, really, truly ask yourself, is it worth it? Is it really worth my time, my energy? Like, it's not. You thought it was in the hated moment, but really, like, dig deep. Like, ask yourself, is this worth it? Is this person even worth like, Is this person the one giving me my paycheck, paying my bills? Because if not, I'm not going to argue with no silly motherfucker. Definitely not. I'll pull one more to make it even. Sound like doing odd numbers. What else is a collecting you know here, spirit? Final message. Look, Ace of Raphael, baby. That's almost like the page, but you know, Ace and pages, they they really different. They do have different meanings. But that means like, you know, very Im immature energy. Like, you know, you're just starting out. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationship, deep and lasting spiritual insights. Boom. And that's it. That's gonna be a reading collected, but I hope y'all enjoy it once again. This really wasn't about zodiac signs. Um, once again, this really was about terrible. Like I said, y'all have a new beginning. And with the ace of Raphael, you will have fulfillment of true emotional love. Okay, but you gotta work on yourself. Ain't that easy? I had to do it all the time, and I'm still doing it now. But you know, at the end of the day, you got you more than anybody else got you. Your parents, your lovers, your exes, your friends, all that shit throw behind. Listen, if you didn't have none of that now, where would you be? And that's your answer focus on you all right collective so once again this was a collective reading do like a like energy check-in like you know for you know this uh, as a collective do not forget if this video and this reading was you know accurate and you really enjoyed it do not forget to comment down below like this video do not forget information about paid personal readings and private session will be down in the description do not forget to say blessed say but it's intuitive and i'll see you next time goodbye everybody